Hi guys, me, Rusty78609 Central Texas USA. It is Wednesday, June 22nd, 2016 at 8.09 a.m. Central Standard Time. About 76 degrees. It's going to be a hot day in Central Texas today. I just got through with my walking as usual. And I got back and I had a comment from a viewer and I'm not too sure I can help him. So I'm going to call on you folks to respond to this video if you have some ideas that may help him. He's from New Zealand, I think, and he's going to travel and he's going to come to the USA, buy a used RV, travel to the USA, and then store. Is It's a motorhome he's going to buy, a used one. And I think he plans to store it for a few months and then come back to the, you know, go back home and then come back to the U.S. and travel some more and kind of go back and forth. I think that's the plan. But anyway, here is his comment today. It says, hi, Rusty. I have a suggestion for a video topic, storing your RV. Good topic. However, I don't know much about it. What type of storage company is best? Okay, folks, have a little help here. A nationwide company or local? Do you have to have do you have to change your insurance? I don't know. Maybe some of you guys do. How do you prevent rodents? I can help him with that because I found a website. I noticed that you don't cover your tires, but is this a good idea? Well, my, my RV is not in storage. It's under a uh, metal cover, and the sun never shines on my tires. I've got it pointed east and west, and uh, the sun never shines on the tires, so it's not a problem. If you had it stored where the sunlight would shine on the tires, probably would. Cover them would be a good idea. Uh, which states have the best climate for out, outdoor storage? Uh, you know, that's hard to say. You know, you probably, you know, I would say somewhere where there's a dry climate, but you then you suffer from dry rot. Uh, if you get too close to the coast or coasts where it's humid, you got another problem with mildew, mold, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what things should I do inside? Uh, that I don't know. We're going to give him some info. Uh, I live overseas, so the vehicle would probably be stored for three to four months. Is this really bad for the engine? Okay. Uh, again, I can't give you a lot of help from my own personal experience because I have never owned a motorhome. I, I've rented them, but I've never owned one, and I've never stored one. I have a travel trailer, a bumper pull, and I've had four of them, I had a fifth wheel. But anyway, what I would recommend to you is to go to a website called, well, let me just give you the name of the, the topic, and then you can do a Google search for this. Polks, P-O-L-K apostrophe S, Polks, top seven motorhome storage tips, okay? And it's uh, the from FMCA, the Family Motor Coats Association, and I read that, looked over the tips, and they're pretty damn good. Uh, he talks about rodent control, uh, it, and it says uh, these animals are notorious for chewing through vehicle wiring and plastic rubber components, resulting in extended, extensive damage to motor homes. <clears throat> Uh, it says start the engine periodically, but you're not going to be here for that. But anyway, go to that web, go, uh, do, go to that website, FM Family Motor Coach Association. FM, it's www.fmca.com, and look for the story done by Mark Polk. It's RV Education 101. Polk's top seven motorhome storage tips. And I believe that that will give you everything you ask because it talks about rodent control and uh, interior preparation. You know, defrost the refrigerator, you know, leave the doors open. Uh, it says if the RV is in long term, term storage and won't be plugged into electricity, it's a good idea to turn off the main breaker. Also turn off the gas, close the windows and blinds, and then it talks about exterior preparation. Uh, says when you store your motorhome outside for extended periods of time, it begins to show signs of wear caused by constant exposure to the elements. Uh, <coughs> says wash the exterior of the motorhome. Da 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 da. 
It says if you're really motivated, wax the exterior using a quality wax. Uh, if the motorhome won't be parked under some type of covered shelter, you may want to invest in a cover. Tires, uh, just like the exterior tires, have to be can be damaged by harmful UV rays, so you know you can cover them. Batteries talks about battery maintenance. Talks about engines says change the oil and filter on the engine and the generator prior to storage. Acids accumulate in used oil and can corrode engine bearings. Check the engine radiator for proper concentration of antifreeze. Fuel stabilizer. It says fill the fuel tank prior to storage and add a fuel stabilizer. Follow manufacturer's instructions. So all these are answering the questions that you asked. And again, I'll go back over this one more time so you can write it down. The website you need to go to is FM, or excuse me, scratch, cut, cut, www.fmca.com. Then do a search for RV Education 101. If you don't find it there, look for Polk's P-O-L-K apostrophe S top seven motorhome storage tips and that should cover everything you asked. I have never stored a motorhome. Again, I've never owned one. I've rented them. But my RV is, I have a travel trailer so of course I don't have to worry about the motor uh, rodents. I should worry about those but I don't. I don't have them. I mean I've never been bothered with them here. Not, go, not here for 10 years or more. Never been bothered. Now I've left this RV here for, I think the longest period I've left it here by itself is when I was volunteering at national parks. I've left it here for about three and a half months and I came back and no problem. Just everything worked. Nobody, nothing had chewed anything up. No wasp nests anywhere. Everything was okay. So I guess I got lucky, but I've done that a couple of times. And then other than that, I've gone on trips in my RV and been gone for a month and then on other occasions a few weeks at a time and knock on wood I haven't had any problems of course this is a travel trailer totally different you know, you've got an engine to maintain and a lot of other stuff but again I hope that that information helps you and helps some other people because I'm sure a lot of people store their motorhomes and uh, you uh, have to be careful and, and uh, but you know again the, the internet is a great source of information. I mean, I wished I could have helped. I wished I could have said, yeah, I had a motorhome one time and this is what I did, blah, blah, blah. But I haven't. So anyway, if any of you people out there are storing motorhomes and you have some uh, some input that might help this fellow uh, in his travels across the U.S. I think he's from New Zealand. He comes here and he's going to buy a used home and motorhome and travel and then go back and forth and back and forth. So yeah, post it on this uh, video. Post your comments and uh, and Mr. Stealth Transit Van, uh, you uh, check this uh, video every now and then and see if anybody's posted any comments and uh, maybe they'll help you. But anyway, good luck to you, Mr. Camper, and uh, good luck with your purchase of your motorhome and storage. And uh, enjoy your travels in the southwestern USA. It's a beautiful place. Also, uh, Northern California, Oregon, uh, Washington State, uh, Montana, you know, those are pretty damn nice. So anyway, uh, and having done and said all that, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios amigos, and bye bye. <laughs> Getting crazy in my old age, eh? Adios, bye. Off, off, off.